Hey everyone, today we're doing something a bit different and looking at a test bench. This is what we use for testing all of the games when we do game benchmark tests and FPS tests. So this is sort of inside the operation. It's not necessarily something you can use as a consumer, but it's still cool to know how things work and what goes on behind the scenes at our media outlet and at a lot of other ones. This is what's known as an HPTX Top Deck Tech Station, which is very difficult to say. And it's a two layer test bench and it's called a Top Deck Tech Station because the top layer is the one that houses the components, the motherboard, and three fans over here, three 120mm fans off the screen that are used uh, optionally to keep things cool if we're doing anything high overclocking or extremely intensive that requires additional cooling. The bottom layer, or the bottom deck as it's called, is used for the power supply, which is loose. I don't mount this uh, with screws or anything. And then we've got SSDs and if you have them, hard drives. And the SSDs and hard drives mount on the underside of the top deck in acrylic rails. And everything on this bench is non-conductive. It's completely ESD safe, so there's really very minimal risk of anything getting damaged from electrostatic discharge unless it's coming from a human who did not properly ground themselves. Because the components and the, the build of the tech station are all uh, acrylics and plastics and nylon and this foam is an anti-ESD foam, so everything is very clean in terms of static electricity, which is important because this is open air. It's got nothing to protect it from, uh, from ESD. So in terms of the build here, this does not ship built. I had to do it myself, and uh, it takes a bit of time. You start with the two decks, and then you move to the motherboard standoffs, which are really just rubber, non-conductive uh, feet for the motherboard to sit atop. And there are two nylon threaded screws that come through the board. And then if you want to keep it in place, you can screw down a washer to hold that board in place, which is also, I believe, a nylon. Uh, the rails are acrylic. We mount four of those in total to house all of the SSDs that we need. They do not mount with screws. They're sort of loosely sitting in the rail system. We just lay the power supply loosely on the bottom atop an anti-ESD mat. And there is a bracket to mount this more permanently if we wanted to, but I move things around a lot and this makes our lives a lot easier. So that's really why we have this thing. And it's not good at representing a real world cooling scenario if you're doing CPU cooler tests or something like that. So we don't test CPU coolers on this. We strictly test GPUs for the FPS output because cooling's really not going to affect that too much since we're, we're going to keep it very cool whether or not it's in an enclosed case. So all that matters here is that we have very easy access to the video cards. You can see it supports up to four-way SLI as long as the motherboard does and we can easily uh, unscrew these nylon screws. They're obviously two per, uh, per card or one per expansion slot and then we take the card out, drop the next one in, and this is done for something like 10 video card configurations. So this can save up to a couple minutes per card because it's eliminating the requirement of opening up a case, getting down on the floor and pulling the card out in the dark and all that crap that you all know and have dealt with when it's in a, in a desk environment. So this makes our lives very easy, it takes about 30 seconds to swap a card, and then we can continue on with our testing and, and keep things very controlled in a completely open air environment with uh, enterprise class fans that will not have bearing degradation anytime soon. So we know we can trust these to cool all the cards pretty equally uh, when we are doing cooling tests in the open air environment. But most importantly, it's all very modular. So if I wanna pull this board off and put a different test platform on here, all I have to do is unscrew the two washers pull it up, move it, drop the new one on top of it, and that's it, done. There's no system building required. Uh, you can swap components in their entirety in less than five minutes. So this is really making our lives a lot easier. We can produce more content. Please check out links in the description below for the channel, for all of our other social media opportunities, and leave a comment if you have questions, and I will see you all next time. Peace.